Hey, good morning. Welcome to the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're doing well today. It is a fine Friday. It is a... I don't know if I can ever turn this music off and, and, and show my lovely face. Hey, it's a fun Friday here on the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. And I'm just looking for something. It's like I'm missing a bunch of pictures. I know I took... There we go. All right. I got, I'm good. I'm good. I got a picture of some flowers. We're going to talk about that today. Anyway, it's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I got flowers here in the morning. I got fortune cookie because it's fortune cookie Friday. And um, we do a fun Friday. Today I want to talk about going out and do a little nature hike. Come back, do a little drawing, draw some change, take a, take a different tact on this. And especially since... Philadelphia flower flower show is coming here to town. I saw that this morning on the news, and also spring's coming, so maybe this is something you could do on the first day of spring for your team. And uh, we'll talk about that today. And it's five AM Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and Agile Coach, and here we talk about Scrum and Agile in a very pra- tactical and practical way, so you can bring more value to your customer, not work crazy hours, bring that value to your customer, and have a little fun along the way. And oh, and last night, so I put out Denzel's uh, interview last night. So I hope you all get a chance to watch it. And I know yesterday's show was kind of late in the, in the in the morning hours and everything that. But I thought Denzel's uh, interview was really good. He talks about software development, uh, traveling from the Dominican Republic here to the states, and uh, building a couple uh, companies that he has too. So please take a chance to listen to his interview. Um. So today, so I was walking Jerry this morning, and I saw some pictures. I saw, well, I was trying to figure out what I'm going to do for Fun Friday. And sometimes, you know, we do something different. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I don't know. Maybe I just did that. No, that was the phone. There we go. So what I thought would be fun, it was a beautiful day out, by the way. And if you can get out or go around the house... Or on the first day of spring, I, this might be a fun thing to do. Go for a walk. And, you know, a lot of these fun f- Friday episodes, I talk about going for a walk as a team. So if you're in the office, send everybody out for a half hour. It's just, just like, you know, get out of the building. You know, this is your excuse. We're, we're doing a retro. Go out of the building for, you know, 20 minutes. Go for a little walk around the area. And as you walk, go see if you, if or if you're inside because it's terrible out. Go see if there's any flowers or new plants or change that you see in there and take some pictures. Now, when they take the picture, you tell them, take the picture, then do a screenshot of it and send the screenshot into your email um, for work. That way it doesn't take up as much space and it doesn't get caught up in the in the filters and all that stuff. And it's just a small little image. And then you can put that on a collage if you want, or they can share it when you do your, your Zoom calls or your 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 Cisco calls or WebEx or whatever you have, and they can share those pictures. Now, when they get back, so once they're looking for change, so you get them look for change, look for plants that are growing, and maybe, if I, oh, there it is. If you find your pen, right, um, they can draw on paper, they can draw on the computer, they can do it any way they want, and um, have them draw some flowers, right? So in here, I, I guess I got a flower. Ooh, dude. Got a stem, some leaves, you know, got a big, got that. I could try red. So I drew a flower on the whiteboard, you know, you can make the center red or you can make the outside red or different colors, right? You know, but then have them. Give them like five, ten minutes to draw. Just now, I drew a flower. Maybe they, well, I think we did this before. Maybe we draw some trees, draw some nature scenes. You know, maybe they draw under the sea, like we did our, our other thing, just to get the mind doing something different. I'm drawing some pine trees or some little little pine trees on a rock. You know, maybe draw the sun. Do, 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 do. A little happy sun. Do, do. So give them time to fill up the page. 
They can draw just one little thing. Say, at least draw a little flower. Whatever you want to draw. If you want to draw a blade of gra glass, grass, uh, they can draw a blade of grass. If you want to draw a little froggy, because soon the little froggies are going to come out. Right? You draw little froggies. Um, but give them five, ten minutes just to draw, just to use a different part of their brain so that they can flex it, right? Oh, there it is. I'm looking for the, the pen top. I couldn't find it. It was on the pen. So do that. So the idea is they go for a walk. It's first day of spring. You go for a walk as a team. You take a trip. If it's, it's not good outside, just walk around the building. Look for things related to change. And if you see anything that's change related, take a picture of it. Have them take a snapshot of it. Send the snapshot into the office because the snapshot takes less space. And it, like I said, it doesn't cause anything. But that's a fun thing to get out there. It gets their mind thinking about change and how we're changing and how you can do an analogy later on. Okay, we drew all this stuff about change. Now, how do we want to change, right? What kind of change do we see coming down the horizon? Is it a change of seasons? Yeah, people are going to start taking vacations, go to the beach. Maybe if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, maybe you're going skiing. Maybe you button up for the winter. You know, maybe it's a change of leaves, depending on where you are. Like if you're in Australia or South Africa or, or South America or something like that. Maybe this time of year, it's getting to a point where you're in fall, right? We're here in the Northern Hemisphere. We're going into spring. So you take those pictures. You do a walk. Get out of the building. Do something as a group. Come back together. So you can separate as an individual or you can walk as teams or pairs or whatever they want. They can do whatever. And they come back as a team and share with their, their, their teammates. And that was my fun fr Friday idea for the day. Do something, break it up, right? Do something different. Um, if you always do the same retro, maybe you do that for a retro. So you go out there, send them out for a half hour, go for a walk. You come back. Now, reflect on what change is coming for ourselves, right? They got the nature. They look at that. What do we see coming down as change for our team, technology, whatever they want to bring up and just share it. What change do they see coming down the pike? With that, let's open Fortune Cookie Friday. Got to get going here. I'm late as usual. Bus was late today. So here's our Fortune Cookie. Let's see what the Fortune Cookie has to say for today. All right. German proverb, no trees touch the sky. German proverb, no trees touch the sky. I don't know what to use that for. Maybe no one's perfect. Maybe you can't build, cover everything on the planet. Just build the way you want, grow the way you want, maybe. Uh, go outside, go see some trees. Walk around. Maybe you can validate. Why don't you validate with a little walk around the German proverb that no trees touch the sky. I don't understand it. Maybe someone can text me what it means. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I'm stumped. Anyway, have a great day. I'm going to wish you the best and enjoy. Happy um, fun Friday or do this on your first day of spring. And uh, definitely check out Denzel's interview. I got a couple more coming. And then again, on March 20th, we have Gary uh, Cohen. He's going to uh, work with our meetup team and share some thoughts and some uh, things he's been experimenting with in the Agile world. All right. Take care, everyone. See you later. Bye.